What's up with the CRS cutoff scores these days? There is no sign of dropping below the 470s. But don't worry, with Ontario's provincial nomination program, you can surpass the cutoff by a mile. How? Well, this nomination will give you 600 extra points. Ontario is the most populous Canadian province. It's home to a large number of immigrants. It has a ton of attractions from hockey to a flourishing economy. It not only contains the nation's capital, Ottawa, but one of the most multicultural cities of the world, Toronto. The Ontario Immigrant Nomination Program, or the OINP, regularly looks for candidates from the express entry pool of applicants to apply for permanent residence. Let's take a look at OINP in detail. There are three broad categories to qualify for a nomination. This may sound heavy, but it isn't, so just follow carefully. The employer job offer category is for those who already have a full-time and permanent job offer from an Ontario employer. This has three streams. Foreign worker stream is for people in skilled positions. International student stream is for recent graduates in Ontario. And in-demand skill stream is for intermediate skilled workers in specific sectors such as agriculture, construction, trucking, etc. Then, the business category is for entrepreneurs from outside of Canada looking to start a new business or buy an existing business in Ontario. Finally, there is the human capital category which has two subcategories. One, for international graduate students with a master's or PhD degree from an eligible Ontario university. Remember to apply within two years of getting your degree. The second category is for people already in the express entry system. You qualify in this only if you have received a notification of interest from Ontario. So you can apply either in the French speaking skilled worker stream or the human capital priorities stream or the skill trade. Let's compare the different streams under the human capital category. You need to score CLB 7 in English or French for the graduate program or human capital priorities program, CLB 7 in French for French skill program and CLB 5 for the skilled trades program. For the graduate program, you need a Canadian degree for our French skilled and HCP streams, a degree equivalent to a Canadian bachelor's degree is acceptable. For the skilled trade stream, no minimum qualification is specified. No work experience is needed for the graduate stream. However, you need one year of experience in the last five years for both French skilled and HCP streamed. For the skilled trade stream, Minimum one year in the last two years is needed. You won't need an NOI or express entry profile for the graduate stream, but remember these are both required for all the other streams. Before you even consider applying for OINP, make sure that you check your provincial score, which is based on six selection factors. Check the link below. You must score at least 67 points here to be eligible. You must have a profile under the federal government's express entry pool and must have received an NOI from Ontario. Don't forget to select Ontario or all provinces as your preferred residence when you're creating your profile. NOC 0A and B are eligible to receive an NOI from Ontario. Your CRS score must be at least 400 points. You must intend to live in Ontario for at least two years. Keep the same settlement funds ready as per the express entry requirements and depending on the number of family members. You don't need a job offer for this program. You will require at least CLB 7 in English or French for this program. Of course, the higher the better. You should have at least a Canadian equivalent bachelor's degree. Have a minimum of one year work experience in the last five years for the Federal Skilled Workers Program or a minimum of one year in the past three years for the Canadian Experience Class Program. There are just three main steps that you need to follow while applying for this program. 
Once you have selected the stream, make sure that you fulfill all the eligibility requirements that I just discussed. If you qualify for the stream and have received a nomination, register yourself online within 45 days. Let's take a quick look. Generally, it takes three to four hours to complete the application. Since you are a first time applicant, choose new applicant. Now, let's say I choose the human capital priority stream. Sign up for your one key ID. If you are filling this form for the first time, add all the details and proceed. Let's select federal skilled worker. Fill in all the details. Make sure you fill in the NOI date carefully and you're done. Once your application and the documents submitted by you are approved by Ontario, add your provincial nomination to the express entry profile and then you can apply for your permanent residence. Ontario has the largest quota amongst all other provincial nominations. Last month, almost 7,000 nominations were issued, so be positive. There's a lot of support for business or entrepreneurs as well, like teleconferences, staff support and faster LMIA. Ontario has a separate and dedicated team to address questions on business immigration. Their contact email is given in the description. There is no way to learn when a program will open, no trend. So you just need to visit the website regularly and keep track. Arrange your reference letters well in advance in the required format. This way you will save a lot of time and hassle. Try to keep your settlement funds in your bank account for three to six months. Even though it's not a requirement, but I think it's safer because it gives the Canadian government confidence about your financial stability. OINP is just the first of the provincial nomination programs. Stick around for detailed videos on all the remaining provinces. Till then, take care, stay well, and I'll see you again next week.